One of my favorite places in Jacksonville, the Cumbria Museum of Art and Gardens. And what is really cool is we're going to talk to Adam Levine here. We've become best friends over the time that I've been here, we right? We have. Yes, yes. See you all the time. had to say that. <laughs> we're talking about the gardens, and they have come such a long way since a couple years ago. Hurricane Irma. Let's talk about that a little bit. Yeah, so Hurricane Irma hit this entire region yeah. hard, but this museum in particular. Yeah. Uh, I started here on January 7th, and the gardens were still caked in mud wow. from the hurricane. We had four feet of standing water in mm -hmm. those gardens for more than 24 hours, but they are back to their former glory, totally reconstructed, and we hope that you all come and see them, just like Alex's. Yeah, definitely, I love it. And so now, there are three historic gardens right here at the Cummer, and it's really right in our backyard, truly on the riverfront. So how special is it that we have these resources here? So special. Uh, I say all the time the Cumber Museum has an amazing collection, yeah. but the best things in the collection are the gardens. Mm -hmm. We have this exhibition right now of French Impressionist works, and we talk about Monet, Renoir, yeah. Degas. We have the Monet, Renoir, and Degas the landscape architecture right back here. Yeah. The greatest landscape architects in American landscape architecture history designed these gardens, which are all not just historic, they're on the National Register wow. of Historic Places, yeah. and they have been since 2010. That's amazing. And so obviously we want to tell people how they can see these gardens because, I mean, you walk outside and it kind of takes your breath away, you know? So how can people come see this? There, so when Nina Kummer founded this museum, it was to be a place for all of Jacksonville yeah. to experience beauty and culture and there is no better example than these beautiful gardens. Uh, the museum is open from Tuesday through Sunday, mm -hmm. uh, and visitors can go to museum.org and see our times and can come anytime. Yeah. But we are free every Tuesday between 4 to wow. 9 p.m., every Friday between 4 to 9 p.m., and the first Saturday of every month. Okay, got it. So you're going to have to write all those down I because know. you're going to want to make sure you come. Here's the easy way. The best opportunity is to come out on a Friday night. Okay. We've just opened from 4 to 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. thanks to PNC Bank. We'll have a bar set up back there. People can come at the end of their busy work week, hang out, have a drink, mm -hmm. enjoy the garden. We'll have lawn games. We'll have music. We'll have food. It'll be a great time. So there's really no excuse but to come no, out there here, There is right? no excuse. They're no. so beautiful anyway. <laughs> you can come anytime, but yeah. why not come when it's free yeah. and you can have a drink? Exactly. Exactly. All right, guys. So we're going to put all this information on our website, firstcoastliving.net. You don't want to miss out.